pairs people from all over the world under one topic, culture. What is something of tradition in your culture? I think a very special tradition in Catalonia is that at Christmas time we have what we call caratio, which is like a log from a tree. And then we put like a face into that log and like a little red hat. And the kids need to just hit the log with a stick and sing a song to say to the log to poo presents. So there's like a whole song and the thing is that it has like a blanket towards like the end of the log. Uh, to cover and then the parents would hide the presents underneath. So we eat whales and we also kill them when they come to shore. That's tradition. <laughs> I think maybe when like almost every month we have like um, soccer matches in our country and it's usually Emelec versus Barcelona or Liga de Quito. Then like all families come together and there's barbecues, there's really good food, but if you go out to the streets, you see nobody because everybody's inside their houses watching the soccer game and eating and being with the family and friends. Korea has had a long history of shamanism and animism as well as ancestral worship, so to say. So, for example, my father's family to this day, every Chinese New Year, Thanksgiving, and also the day where my grandpa passed away, they gather, they prepare a whole big feast and they put it on the table and then they welcome the spirits of ancestors to come and feast upon the food. When a woman and a man get married, after a while, the woman's family would decide to celebrate, like, celebrate the man, so her husband, just to say thank you for taking care of their daughter and taking care of the family. And so they have something that we call a mateveto. It's celebrating him. There's lots and lots and lots of food, like local food, and we'll usually have all be wearing the same. Um, in Zambia, we wear chitenge, which is African material. So everyone will have the same chitenge, and there will be music. There will be mostly like drums, and uh, we we'll all cook like the sisters, the aunties and everyone, mostly the ladies, would all cook shima, which is stiff porridge, in one big pot and everyone will be helping stir it. We have many, many festivals during the year. <laughs> we have one that we celebrate the uh, whites and blacks, um, other that we have a salsa festival and also about the tomatoes. <laughs> and this festival about the tomatoes is uh, only to play with them and also at the end, we are shower of the tomatoes. <laughs> Everyone. Christmas time, we have this um, called um, gaita. So that's a group of a group of people. There's a band, and they will um, sing um, different Christmas songs, but in this specific rhythm, and it's really nice. Everywhere you go, you will find in the main street, on the side of the street, or in front of a supermarket, you will find these bands playing. Mate, definitely. We don't know what to do. And it's weird for us when we meet with people, we don't know what to do if we are not drinking mate. We drink mate all the time, in the office, in the university, in the work, whatever, we are going to be drinking mate. I mean, not always, because we need to do stuff. And then we drink mate and we talk. If we are not drinking mate, what are we doing? I mean, we can talk, of course, but it's like a... Uh, are you okay? Yeah, sure. With the mate, it's like a... Ah, how was your day? Um, Tell me about your world. Are you okay? It's like a sure Monday. You know? According to the lunar calendar, we have a Chinese New Year. It's around the end of January or the start, the beginning of uh, February. Yeah. So all the family members they will go back home from the city to the village, and then we will eat together, and then maybe spend time with our grandparents for two to three days. Yeah, and also we'll have a red envelope yeah there's some money so the oldest will give this envelope to the younger generations so if you go into someone's house and it's summer they will offer you a towel and a bar of soap so that you can shower it's not because you're stinky but it's because they want you to feel comfortable and fresh we have a big tradition with our flag i've realized um like when you have birthday everyone there's flags everywhere 
like on the tablecloth, and the presents, and the cake, there's flags everywhere. To me it has been normal, until if, uh, yesterday someone told me that it was very weird, or at least not common in their culture. So in St. Lucia, we have this Creole festival, well not just St. Lucia, but also Dominica does it as well. It's called Jeune Creole. Every October we remember the past of how our grandparents lived in the past, so like old time clothes, how they used to live, how they used to speak, the food. So that's every October in St. Lucia. Once every year, we have like Sabbath day, but the purpose of it is to respect the spirit in that particular area. Not the Holy Spirit, but spirit. So we just need to stay at home doing nothing and never ever get out from your door. We have Kings or Queen's Day. Um, basically, that's the king or the queen's birthday, um, or they, they always do it in the same month in April. And then we have this annual fair, and everybody goes outside, and we all have like like knickknacks that you want to get rid of. You try and sell them, and if people want them, then great. If not, then when you have a good time and you laugh with people, and there's music. It is to make parties for everything, and in every party, it should be a piñata. We have this celebration called Sehu. It happens once a year. It happens right after Carnival. It's more to be thank thankful for like, I think it goes back in the roots of the slaveries as well. We're thankful for the thing God has given to us and how we can celebrate it. And mostly people come with fruits and stuff and go to the street and they dance. But it's more decent and a lot of kids, yeah, yeah it's, it's very nice. For my Chinese culture, we actually have a biggest event every year called Chinese New Year. So we have a big celebration, we visit each other and we give out rag packet, which we call Ampao. We have our national day. It is we dressing up in our national costume and celebrate like huge parades. Yeah, walk around, play the national song and sing songs. And then after that we will go to our school, our old school, and uh, and have games and plays with all the uh, other people. And it's normally called the Children's Day. Uh, tradition and culture is we're, uh, yeah, definitely like a serious culture, so more like a bow. And we are use Japanese, but if the person is older or high level, we use another way. It's Japanese, but more another way to respect the world. One big thing that we celebrate is the Oktoberfest. Um, it's a festival that's celebrated once uh, once a year where a lot of people come together wearing traditional uh, German clothes. The trousers out of leather, the girls have a special dress, it's called Dundel. And then usually it always has to do with drinking a lot of beer, listening to Schlager music, that's the that's type, type of German music and yeah, dancing together in a huge tent where like thousands of people fit in. Uh, one of them is uh, quite special is actually kind of shows our respect to our elder or ancestor is to it's called the Qingming festival so every time uh, every year there's a this uh, festival people will go to the grave of their ancestor and then maybe to uh, mem to memory them or to worship them because it's a part of the Chinese culture but as a Christian uh, then we may uh, we, we, we will not worship them but we go and then we maybe Give the flowers and to memorize. It's super traditional for families to go and pick apples in summer or like end of summer, beginning of fall. Most families will like spend days picking like buckets and buckets full or even like the boxes of a pickup full of apples and then they'll go and get them juiced. Just, just drink apple juice. It's a good time. Make apple pie. So basically when you see funerals, usually they're kind of sad and people just cry and they go to the the cemetery and it's just very sad time and yes people do cry and they're sad at funerals but we have this tradition where um, when the body is being taken in the hearse to the cemetery it drives really really slow so that all the people that attended the funeral can walk behind the hearse and they play drums and they dance and they sing in the street all the way to the cemetery so it's more of a celebration because people are drumming they're dancing they're like celebrating in a way it sounds bad but um, yeah, that's just a tradition that we do. When you uh, meet one of the elders or someone older than you, you give them, how do you say that? Manupo. Like, <laughs> like you will get their hand and then you will pay respect. Yeah, that's one of the things. We celebrate Christmas 
for three months. Yeah, <laughs> yes, it's three months. Mas <laughs> thank you for watching the video, kinang. Si ba gusto video, please like and subscribe for watch mas video nang.